slightly more difficult acceleration problem. Again, we're going to use the big five. The question in this case is a car is moving at 100 kilometers an hour when it stops. It takes five seconds for it to stop, and what is its acceleration? I've already written down my five variables, because I do that every single time. A, V1, V2, D, and T. What is A? We don't know. What is V1? The initial velocity of the car is 100 kilometers an hour. What is V2? It stops, so hopefully, obviously, V2 is equal to zero. How far does it travel? We don't know. Is its displacement? And we know its time is five seconds. Now, I've written my givens, but a little alarm bell is going off, because here's kilometers per hour, and here's five seconds. So I know that that's not good. I'm going to have to change kilometers an hour. 100 kilometers an hour divided by 3.6 is 27.8 meters per second. So now, at least all my givens are correct, and they're on the same units. I don't know A or D. I'm trying to find A. I don't care at all what D is, which means looking at my big five, I'm going to pick the one without D, which is equation number two. So, V2 equals V1 plus A delta T. I can rearrange now before I put my numbers in, which would, which would be A equals V2 minus V1 over T. Uh, but if you don't like to do math with letters, you can always dump your numbers in first, which is what I'll do just as an example. So 0 equals 27.8 meters per second plus A times 5 seconds. Always include your units, at least in the first line. Now if I want, I can rearrange this. I can write it without the units. 0 equals 27.8 plus 5a. Well, that's an easy enough equation to rearrange. 5a equals negative 27.8. a equals negative 27.8 divided by 5. Grab my calculator, 27.8 divided by 5 is 5.6. So A equals negative 5.6 meters per second squared. The negative hopefully makes sense because we really should define a direction here. And by saying V1 was positive, we're saying that the direction the car was going was positive. So what is this negative telling us? It's telling us that the acceleration was backwards. So my final answer will not be A is negative 5.6 because negative doesn't mean anything. I need an actual direction. So in my sentence, I will say, therefore, the car's acceleration was 5.6 meters per second squared, and I'll put in a direction, which is back. If the question had told us that 100 kilometers an hour was east, then this would be west. But the question didn't say, so all I can do is say the acceleration is 